What is going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today we're going to open the big old presents within the tower now. Oh shit, there's a load here. So they must come back every single day. Now we're going to open these three main presents right here. Now I, I don't know if you guys know about these or what's in them. I know that you get the exotic quest from one and that is for the, the Solar and Void Thunder Lords. What else is obtained? I have no idea. Uh, if you guys know, I'm guessing a lot of you guys know, you've probably done this already. I was actually saving up these. Um, I was just doing all the challenges from the book to get all the tags needed to open these actual packages. Um, today is Friday. I mean, I'm a little late, yes, but it is what it is. Now, if you guys do enjoy the video, leaving a like is much appreciated. Can we reach 4,000 likes? That would be absolutely epic. Now, what I'm going to do is, just in case armor drops from these, which you probably don't because I'm a noob, I'm going to switch all my shit up to 400. There we go. Um, there we go. Got sex in my hunter looks in this gear. In this gear. Okay, so let's get rid of these. Well, let's open these first. Now, in the trailer, I saw two exotics dropping from these boxes and shit. And I just thought, well, really? Is that actually going to happen? I doubt it will. But let's just get into it. Okay, so we've got Saladin's Gift right here. Days of Iron Ornament times three. Is that it? And 50 molts. Shit. Oh, shit, that one's in my vault. <laughs> so I have to grab that in. The Jingle Horn and a Treasure of Dawning package. Let's just go and grab that one from my vault. Because um, I, I got it on my Titan. For some reason, it was on my Titan. I must have just picked it up out of the book on my Titan. No idea why. Um, so, there it is right there. Now, I'm desperately in need for Vault Space. I mean, like... I'm just full. I'm just absolute full. To the rafters. I mean, I've got four spaces here. I've got so many decent weapons as well on every character. There just ain't no space. I just got no space. Um, let's see what's in here. Zer's gift. Oh, I got two exotics! I got two exotics and I got the tattered schematic. So that's not bad at all. And I knew I was going to get the, um, I knew I was going to get the actual quest for the, like I said, that I think it's the Abaddon and the Nova Mortis. I knew that was going to happen. And I've got no space to pick up that. Just, just my luck. Just my luck now. Uh, what can we get rid of? Um, what can we get rid of? Don't really need that. Don't need that. Um, so let's grab that out of my vault. Grab that out of my vault. And we're going to open these and see what I get. But yeah, I got... Hello, lads. Um, but yeah, I got two exotics as well, which I didn't actually know dropped. Which I can't really complain about, to be honest. Can't really complain about. So what we have, we have two chess pieces. And I got gauntlets that don't touch me. And the hawk moon. Woo! Not like I need any of these, to be honest. Um, and actually, to be honest, I think I may have... Oh, it's either in my vault on one of my characters, but I may have got rid of this weapon. I just think it's just under par with the legendaries you can get. Uh, straight up um, infusion material right there but yeah that is it <laughs> that's it I got nothing nothing really exciting apart from the Abaddon and the Novel Mortis quest which is I'm guessing picked up from Zavala now in my opinion these two should have been I don't know the Abaddon and the Novel Mortis probably should have just been random drops from engrams and that the Icebreaker should have had its own quest that's just my opinion, though. You know? It's just my opinion. But it is what it is. So what do you got to do for this? Talk to Banshee in the tower. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of shit. And that's my camera dying. Great stuff. But yeah, this, this is... It, it, I mean, like... I've almost, I've basically done. I've got these two weapons now, and the Icebreaker will drop eventually. And this dawning event's done. I mean, it lasts for three weeks. I've done it in, what, three days? Is that great? And I haven't, to be honest, I haven't really grinded the fuck out of it. Um, so, yeah. It's kind of um, a disappointment, in my opinion. 
But what do you guys think? Let me know down below in that comment section. Do you think the dawning events just it just doesn't last too long? I reckon, you know what? They should have been a lot of harder shit in this book. Like winning 20 matches. I mean, like, I can't win a match. So winning 20 for me would be ridiculous. I mean, I'm almost at rank 9. I've just been doing the simple things. Strikes. Like, there's no there's no real challenge here. It, there's nothing of a real challenge here. Um, you'll eventually do them all. And I haven't really been trying that hard. That's what I mean. It's just not a challenge. This Dawning event, in my opinion, has been a little bit of a letdown. Um, but it is what it is. That's just my opinion, though. You may have loved it. I mean, I've, I've, I enjoy Spiral Racing. Don't get it twisted. I do enjoy Spiral Racing. But it's just a, not enough in it for me. It's just not enough in it for me. And I'm finding myself still playing that Final Fantasy under night. But yeah, it is what it is. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about the Spiral Racing League down below in that comment section. Also, the contents of the free uh, major presence in the tower. Thanks, as always, for stopping by. And I'll catch you guys on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. But you and I will carry on. We never get it right.